Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Mower. And, and this, this is IF Extra. So, it's turned cold and frosty here now that it's December, hasn't it? Mm, scraping car time. Absolutely, yeah, but it's nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've had a busy week. Um, what have you been doing anything in particular? Um, well, I mean, the only interference thing that sort of happened, kind of, was um, it was supposed to be the week off from interference and chill, mm -hmm. but then Ferret was actually available to do it. Ooh. So it was, uh, so there was going to be an interference and chill. And then the computer blew up like 10 minutes before no. um, it was meant to start. Um, well, not literally blew up. That's maybe over dramatic. Um, yeah. <laughs> Stopped working, you mean? <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah it, sort of, it sad faced and then, you know. Died. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that ended up getting cancelled on short notice, which was unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but because uh, we know we've got like quite a few fans of Interference and Chill. People, people like really like relaxed drawing and getting oh, yeah. involved because you know interactive streams they're yeah. a bit loud and shouty sometimes and you know when people are playing games and things and just like whoa hectic but oh it's nice and calm exactly yeah. but it's interactive as yeah, well you know you true. get to mm -hmm. uh, actually you know control what's happening mm -hmm. you know disable undo give extra time take, take away colors, colors. Away. <laughs> yeah um oh, so yes yeah, yeah, sorry that that ended up getting cancelled on short notice yeah. but it will be back on wednesday at 7 p.m uk time yeah. <laughs> um so yeah that, that that'll be on that'll be on yeah do you know what's nice this week we've had loads of more new players haven't we we have so many <laughs> yeah still getting loads of new players in yeah, yeah. from android so mm -hmm. hi if you have recently downloaded the game yeah, from yeah. the google play store uh, nice, very to, have nice to have you it here is. hope you're having fun got some interesting art styles coming through haven't yeah, we? yeah yeah we're loving seeing all of the new sort of art styles yeah, and uh, and your great descriptions yeah. and things we hope you feel at home with yeah. our little community exactly <laughs> and if you know anyone who you think might like the game it mm. would be really awesome if you could uh, invite your friends along as well yeah. the more people we have the better and share um, your pictures with the world that's exactly. awesome exactly <laughs> yeah remember you can always just press the menu button buy a picture and yeah. then tweet it out stick it on yeah. facebook all yeah. that sure um, people yeah. you've done. it's all really awesome that's and really i mean if you don't mind me asking one other thing um mm, if you do get time you know no pressure but if you do get time it would be very very cool if you could leave a review in the store oh, because yeah. that really that helps, really helps Buds kind of get found easier yeah, when people are searching. Up the list and then at the top. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so if someone's searching for drawing game, the more reviews we've got, yeah. the the better we do in that search result. Yeah, um, so cool. then we get even more people. And then yeah. we can have even more craziness. We can turn longer games back on. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, we just have some really long ones. Yeah, yeah, we? yeah. Can, like, get back turn up, really like, crazy. <laughs> exactly. You know, get like some 21 steps, maybe some Ooh, 33 steps wow, on again. They're cool. It'd be great. <laughs> it would, yeah. Okay, now it's time to see who won this week's awards. Picture of the week this week goes to Omniscient Rhino for Boy Should Be Afraid of His Own Shadow. He isn't. It's a lovely picture of a boy gazing out of a window, and the sunlight on his hair, and then you look behind him. That shadow is scary. Well done, Rhino. That's fabulous. My favourite description this week was A giant egg yolk spotted on the horizon by Sneaky. It's one of those descriptions where it just changes your perception of the picture when you look back at it. Originally, it did just look like a horizon to me, but now I can't unsee that egg yolk. Nice work, Sneaky. Community pick of the week this week goes to Linlout for Litten from Pokemon. And that is such a beautiful picture of Litten. It looks so cute. What a brilliant Pokemon. Well done, Linlout. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there as always. Absolutely. Now we're going to have a look at what we were talking about in the forums last week. So last week I was asking you, what's your favourite musical? Or what movie would be greatly improved by turning it into a musical? <laughs> we had a few more answers. I put my answer in first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, um, I don't know. I'd be tempted to say... It's slightly puerile, but Avenue Q, because mm. it was really funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, quite clever how they did it with the puppets and yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> that was um, I mean, ba basically, if, if you haven't seen Avenue Q, it's it's kind of like uh, an adult version of Sesame Street. Yeah. It's like it's not a kid's show, no. but um, mm. <laughs> some of the characters are puppets. Yeah. Um, and so the puppeteers are kind of on stage dressed mm -hmm. in, in black, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, at, doing the, the puppets mm -hmm. uh, and um it's really weird because you stop <laughs> seeing them yeah and, and you just, just yeah the characters but yeah. it's it's really clever how it's it done is. It's yeah cool. but it's, yeah it's really fun i've seen that like 
twice now. Yeah. 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 Um, so very, very good. Well, like The Greatest Showman, if you talk about DVD type musicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was uh, inspiring, wasn't it? That was very cool. We yeah. have to get our copy of that back off I know, at some point. I know, Because yes. we live in the home of the circus where it was invented. Yes. So that really thought, yeah, that's kind um, of interesting for us. <laughs> yeah, well, it was quite interesting because yeah. it's basically... It's all based on the life of Philip Astley, yeah. really. Um, then, and I know it's meant to be about P.T. Barnum, yeah, but, but um, very similar story, everything maybe. that he did mm. was basically just doing what yeah. Philip Astley, who was the original circus guy, did. did it here very, and in Europe. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Renee said um, she likes Phantom, Oliver, Joseph and Cats. I've never seen Cats. I haven't seen Cats, but, but there's a film coming out, isn't there? Yeah, and everyone's and kind of weird. freaking out about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. I, know, I, I, haven't, I haven't really seen anything. I've seen the, the trailer, trailer at the cinema. Like, mm. <laughs> no, you know, <clears throat> trying new things. So, Grace Mouse says, Dear Evan Hansen, I don't know what that is. No, and Be More Chill and mm -hmm. The Heathers. Um, the Heathers I'm, was a film, was it? Or was it oh, is that the same thing? Is that something to do with the, the Mean Girls or something? No, um, the Heathers were all called Heather. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't um, know if it's something to do with so that. So I, I don't I don't know those. Mm. I guess these are perhaps US kind yeah, of musicals. Yeah, but we've heard of Hamilton. Also says Hamilton, mm. which we've heard of. I think, is Hamilton here It is, now? but you just can't yeah. get tickets. I think it's so popular. Um, yeah. But that's meant to be really good. I'd like mm. to go and see that. But yeah. um, I'd like to go and see Book of Mormon as well, because everybody says that's amazing. Mm. Yeah. I know, yeah. we, should, we should go do that yeah. sometime. Mm -hmm. Um, but then uh, Anvil says, uh, on the same line of thought behind the story of the Phantom of the Opera, what about Dracula? I could see many opportunities for a tragic story set to a yeah, musical. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. I quite like that as an mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, because I've seen yeah. like a stage play of Dracula. Yeah. And, and, you know, Dracula's quite a popular story. Everyone story. knows the story, don't they? Yeah. yeah so. um, well, no, you say that. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I thought I knew mm -hmm. the story. And then I went to see the play and actually... I didn't really no, know no, no. Um, anything. It's but very I, literary book, But I've, I've it, hence yeah. read, read the book since yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that could work quite well mm -hmm. as a musical, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if anyone else uh, has any suggestions mm -hmm. for, well, favourite musicals or things you'd like to see as a musical, yeah. uh, then um, you can still add you to that. You can still add to that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you head over <laughs> to the general discussion forum, uh, it's called Musicals. I've just remembered also one of my other favourite musicals what? is that bit out of Saints Row, Gat Out of Hell, where there's a, <laughs> a there's a random musical number in the middle of that. Uh, yeah, it's good. That doesn't count. <laughs> Saints Row is my sort of guilty pleasure, really. It's your um, Christmas yeah. film, isn't it, really, as well? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's almost Christmas. We can play How the Saints Saved Christmas, can, which yeah. is our Christmas film. film. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving on. Okay, yeah, moving on to seeing what we're going to be talking about next week. It's time for a new forum game. All you have to do is make a sentence, any that makes sense, from the five letters the previous player gives to you. Then leave five letters for the next player. Here's an example. I-R-L-P-I. I really like playing interference. Okay, so here's your starter. A-T-D-M-P. Go. If you'd like to chime in with that, then just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Absolutely. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night is quiz night. Yay! Which we like. Yep. <laughs> our favourite night of the week. <laughs> if you've not seen this before, every Sunday at 7pm UK time over on our Mixer channel, mixer.com slash interference, we run Zeitgeist, the interference quiz of the week. Uh, it's basically a live interactive quiz show. It's a bit like watching a quiz show on TV, but instead of shouting at the screen, you can actually play along against the rest of the audience yeah. and show off your quiz skills absolutely get on the leaderboard exactly we give you points when you're right or when you're fastest uh, and then we add them all up and see who did the best <gasps> who did the best last week well last week we had phantom finishing in first place on 206 uh, Gored in second place on 196 mm. and then Crash Thatch in third place on 190. So there's only one question between those, isn't there, really? I know, yeah, yeah. it was uh, it was very tight there Ooh, at the end, yes. yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, so um, the idea with this is every round is based on a drawing uh, done on Interference this yeah, week. So right. Bunnery picks her favourite drawings mm -hmm. uh, and then writes questions around them. Yeah. I don't sort of know any of this ahead of time, mm -hmm. so I don't see the rounds, the, the drawings, the questions or anything. Yep. But you can give us a hint. You can tell us who I the featured you, artists yeah, are. I can tell you which artists I've chosen this week. I have chosen drawings from Artsy Ninja 20, Draw Doodle, Lilith Lovely, Trice and Vicky Valentine. Mm. Or Chris, I'm not um, sure. <laughs> quite a few new people there. Yeah, again. we've had so many mm. new people and so many cool new pictures. Interesting. So, yeah. It kind of, I guess it mixes it up a bit mm. for you when we get, uh, yeah, we get new people Yeah, we get some new in. topics to talk about mm. and set questions about. So it should be good. 
All right, awesome. Well, if you'd like to join us for that, as I say, every Sunday, 7 p.m. UK time over on mixer.com slash interference. Um, if you're not sure what time that is in your local time zone, if you just check the front page of playinterference.com or the Interference app, uh, there'll be an advert on there over the weekend and it has a little timer uh, up at the top saying when we start. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's all the news for this week, so just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved at playinterference.com. Mm -hmm. You can also follow us on Twitter at playifx or on Facebook at playinterference. We've also now got a Patreon page at patreon.com slash interference. If you want to give us a bit of monthly support for the ongoing maintenance of the game, adding in new features, running the quiz, and all of the other bits and pieces that mm -hmm. we do, we really appreciate your support. We do. Okay, we'll see you again next week. Yeah, have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.